Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name is Lauren. It's around five o'clock and I thought I would film a Sunday night routine. This is a typical Sunday afternoon, Sunday night for me. I'm always prepping for the work week on Sunday. I always try to set myself up for success by meal prepping, laundry, makeup, brush cleaning, just making sure everything is in good order so I can start the work week really strong. So maybe take some tips from me throughout this video or incorporate some things that you find helpful from this video into your work week. Also, let me know if there's anything that I'm possibly missing. What do you do to help you best prepare for your work week to set you up for success? Definitely leave that in the comments down below so I can add and tweak my routine. But I'm about to start meal prepping. I'm gonna open up a poppy and I meal prep every single Sunday or sometimes Monday depending, but every week without fail, I always have something for lunches. I always love going into the work week, not having to worry about what I'm possibly eating for breakfast or lunch or snacks throughout the day. I do work in an office, so I don't work at home. So a majority of my meals, Monday through Friday, I eat in the office. So I meal prep, I take my breakfast, snack and lunch, like I mentioned, always meal prepping lunch. And I know sometimes it can be hard for people to meal prep and eat the same thing consistently throughout the week. So I definitely do try to switch things up and I usually meal prep for four days. And on the fifth day, I'll bring something else from home or I'll decide to pick something up. It's kind of like a treat to make it through like the first four days and treat yourself to maybe picking up food or ordering food to the office or your home, wherever you work. But if you are looking to incorporate meal prep and you're looking for a recipe, this recipe without fail is one of our favorites for meal prep. I meal prep for me and my fiance every week and just helps us save money. We never really have to think about what we're eating throughout the week, it just kind of sets us up. So this recipe, definitely if you're looking to start somewhere, start here. This recipe is so good. It's pasta salad. You can kind of tweak it to your dietary restrictions, what you avoid, what you include, swap out. So it's really a versatile meal and it stays good for five days in the fridge, but you can obviously just do it for four days. I can link the original recipe down below if you're interested. I'll walk you through what I do, but it has salami and you can swap that out for chickpeas if you wanna make it vegetarian or vegan, or if you're trying to avoid salami or processed meats. There is dairy in this, so it uses mozzarella balls. So you can totally keep that out or keep it in unless you have like a dairy intolerance. And we use this protein pasta. Pasta. This just adds a little bit extra protein into the meal. You can also use the Bonza chickpea pasta if you're gluten-free. This is my favorite pasta. I have had this recipe before though with the Bonza. It's just better personally with this, but you can use whatever you want. So those are some ways you can kind of swap certain things out to kind of cater this meal to you but this is definitely a good recipe to start off with if you're looking to save money meal prep start eating more at home throughout the week anything like that if those are on your new year's goals i know everyone is trying to incorporate things with it being the new year so if you're trying to incorporate meal prep definitely check this recipe out but i'm going to start prepping everything cooking the pasta and then putting everything in meal prep containers I wanted to share the meal prep containers that I use. I got some new ones off Amazon. I use glass ones and I know this dish is mainly for you eat it cold, but when I reheat my food every single day, I like to reheat it in glass. It's just like a really good way to kind of eliminate plastics in a way. And I use these glass meal prep containers. I can link the exact ones that I use. They are lifesavers. And what's good about these is you can freeze them. So if you have any meals or like if you do like crock pot recipes, I know I do big crock pot chili recipes and I freeze in these. So that's also something really good. Dishwasher safe, microwave safe. So I can link these down below, but I'm gonna show you all of the ingredients laid out and then I'm gonna get to prepping. Okay, here are all the ingredients. So this is the salami that I use, boar's head from Publix, mozzarella, cucumber, red pepper. I use like one and a quarter of these. Red onion, the pasta that I shared, tomatoes, parsley, Dijon. There's also like maple syrup and things for the dressing and then some black olives. So this is like the base and then there's obviously some seasonings and things but like I mentioned, the recipe will be linked down below.
Okay, here's what it looks like all completed and mixed together. I forgot to mention I double the recipe and it gets each of us five lunches for the week. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna taste test it and then put it all into little individual containers and that will be our lunches for the week. about to finish out my night routine and this part I guess you could say of my Sunday night routine is basically a night routine that I do every single night occasionally yes I'll miss or skip out on it if I'm really tired but I've been trying to do these things every single night and before I shower what I do is I use my high frequency wand in my hair you could also use this on your face but I've mainly been using the hair attachment tool to regrow or help thicken my hair throughout here and around here it's kind of just thinning and if you've obviously been around for a couple of months you would know that i've been using this for a couple months now and i'm also going to put in this scalp serum by actin anchor and this is my second little bottle of it i've noticed some little blonde baby hairs growing throughout here. They're super blonde, so they're hard to see, but have noticed some hair regrowth. I was using the Vegamore Grow Serum before this, and obviously I've been using this since October or November. Just some type of scalp serum I've been using since October. So I was first using the Vegamore, which lasted a really long time until December, that one container, and now I'm using this. So I have started to notice some hair growth around my hairline right through here and through here, which could be a combination of both those products and obviously using the products consistently since October. So that's what I'm going to be doing after I do my high frequency wand, which no matter what, I always put the serum in. You can put this in a dirty or clean hair. It doesn't affect how your hair looks. It literally dries normal doesn't make my hair look greasy or oily. It's not like an oil product. It's more of a serum and trust me, just put it on at night before you go to sleep and you wake up and your hair is perfectly fine. It does leave your hair a little bit damp, 
but if you put it on before you go to sleep, it's not an issue. So definitely recommend. I will link it down below. And then after I get out of the shower, I will use my red light therapy mask, which is from Medjolin. I believe that's how you say the brand. And I have the neck and chest one, and then also the face one. And it has, I believe like eight or 10 different lights for different things, but I mainly use the red light. So I've really been liking this, been using this for a couple months now. So I'll use that once I get out of the shower and then I'll go in and do my regular skincare and then I'll do gua sha for lymphatic drainage. So that's basically what I do every single night. It does take a little bit of time, obviously, because the mask I leave on for 20 minutes, this probably takes five to 10 minutes and then gua sha. So it's a little bit of a lengthy night routine with a lot of different things. Yeah, I really just enjoy my night routine and it helps me unwind and relax before bed. I go to bed around 9, 30, 10 every single night to help me get all of my hours of sleep in and be ready for the work day the next day. So I also wanted to see if any of you guys have the aura ring. I've been looking into getting the aura ring, but it's so ridiculously expensive and I would probably get like the cheapest option, which is the silver, which kind of sucks because I do wear mainly gold jewelry, but I want to use it just basically for sleep. It truly doesn't matter, but they're so expensive. I can't like bite the bullet to buy it. I don't know. It's a, my friend has it and she like raves about it and loves it. But I just can't like convince myself to purchase it. It's pretty pricey. So if you guys have it and enjoy it, please let me know in the comments down below your thoughts, if it's worth it or not. I've been contemplating getting it for a couple of months now. I just have it. But really would love to see my sleep score, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm gonna do my high frequency wand. I'll show you how I do it. I got this off of Amazon. It just comes like this. And then you use the different attachments. Like my hair that you use. The hair one mainly. I try to use these two for around my face, but I don't do it every single night. It's not as often. And this, I kind of just do like 10 swipes in each area. And that's basically it. And that's just basically what it looks like. Just go and zigzag. Like 10 times through. And that is the high frequency wand. That's all I do. It actually is a little bit quicker, um, easy. Doesn't really take that long. And I just heard it really helps with hair growth. And I've had it for probably three years and I didn't really start using it consistently until like a couple months ago. Really can't speak on if it works or not, but I know the product lasts, lasts a really long time and I got it off Amazon, I think for like 50 bucks three years ago. So I can link it if you're interested. And now I'm gonna go in and do my hair serum. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like after I apply it, I guess. So I kind of just focus it through here. And then I massage it in. You can also use a scalp massager, which I have like one of these to help stimulate the hair growth, but kind of just looks like a little bit damp and that's it. And then it dries like perfectly fine. I'm just gonna add a little bit more right here. This is like my problem area. I was really scared about serums because I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair every, like twice a week. So every Tuesday and Saturday. So I was a little bit scared to do a serum and it hasn't affected anything like that. It hasn't affected how long my hair stays looking clean, so that's a good thing, right? <laughs> okay, now that my hair serum is in, I'm gonna get in the shower, clip my hair up, put it in a 
a shower cap so it doesn't get wet in the shower. And then do my red light therapy mask. And I've been using these when I get out of the shower. They're like Kleenex hand towels. I know the, the Clean Skin Club hand towels are really popular, but these are like $3 from Target and the Clean Skin ones are pretty pricey. So if you want to be using like a towel, like a clean towel after you wash your face, because obviously those towels and the towels that we use on our body can hold bacteria, definitely recommend purchasing these. I got them from Target for like $3 a box so and the box has 55 of them i've been using this green what is it green clean by pharmacy the cleansing balm and i'm like not one is this even focused i'm not one to spend like anything more than like 10 to 15 dollars on a cleansing balm so this is like big for me to rave about something like this I am obsessed with this. I feel like it gives my skin such a nice clean without making my skin feel stripped. So I've really been liking this. I feel like it doesn't get in my eyes like the other oils that I've been using. And it just really provides such a great clean feeling. And I obviously double cleanse, but I've really been liking this. Only been using it for like two weeks now. I use it every single day. And someone said that it lasts a really long time. I got the big container, so hopefully it does. I use, I wear makeup every single day or sunscreen, so I'm always using some type of cleanser before I go in with my actual cleanser. And I've really, really been liking this. So, anyways, I'm gonna get in the shower. And I need to get my robe from my other, my closet. I forgot to take my vitamins this morning, so I'm going to take them now. Usually I drink this every morning. I'm going to drink this before I drink my tea. I'm going to be having a lot of liquids before bed, but I get this. It's just, it has cucumber, celery, grapefruit, green chard, and lettuce. And I drink this every morning. And then I put this Armra colostrum in it, which I've been taking for a little over a month. And then my multivitamin probiotic, things like that. Okay, just finished my red light therapy and I was gonna make a tea, but I had a whole glass of green juice, so I'm not going to drink too many liquids before bed. But I usually do tea, lemon balm tea, but I'm gonna skip that. I am well aware that my face does not match my neck. I use active ingredients in the morning and at night so my self tan does not last on my face longer than like two days so throughout the work week i use the drunk elephant um bronzing drops which i just got a couple weeks ago and i love the main reason why i wanted to start using these or finally pick them up because i'm very late to using these was because my face doesn't match my neck for a couple days until I take off my self tanner and re self tan at the end of the week. Um, it's tretinoin night. I do skin cycling. I've been doing skin cycling for over two years now, and tonight is the tretinoin. First, I start off with um, I use Clear Stem Bounce Back Serum. This is my third bottle of this, and I use it on my face and neck every night. Now I'm gonna go in with Tretinoin. Okay. Lastly, in the skincare routine is moisturizer and then using my gua sha, which I use every night. I used to use it in the shower, which I really actually liked using it in the shower. I used it when I had face wash on and I would just quickly go over it. But recently I've been just liking taking more time with doing it and not having it be so rushed in the shower. So first, I'm using the Necessary Neck Serum. I have no idea if this does anything. And then I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I use this morning and night. It's so moisturizing. I seriously love it. With doing the skin cycling and having like tretinoin and HA, VHA acids, it makes my skin really dry. With this, I don't get like dry, flaky, patchy spots. I switch on and off between two oils 
This almond oil I use a lot more than this Goop Jeans. This is really good but so pricey that I use it very sparingly. So I mainly use this almond oil. This is so cheap. I think you can get it from like any drugstore. All natural almond oil. You can use this literally everywhere in your hair, on your body, on your face. So I like to use it on my face and it's great to mix with moisturizer or use it on its own to help the gua sha glide a little bit better. I'm gonna open up my lymph nodes. I just open up the lymph nodes like right here and then on my neck. And then I wash up. <laughs> and I use this stone one, which I like it how it has the ridges on it. 